8.02 is your time, and Iowa News remains on verdict watch in the penalty phase of the Boston Marathon bombings trial. Today, jurors are once again going to deliberate the fate of Johar Sarnayev. This morning, we're taking a look at what jurors have to consider while making this decision. Iowa News reporter Todd Wallace joining us now with more. And good morning, Patrick and Danielle. This is a sample cover from the verdict form jurors will be using in deciding whether Johar Zanayev will spend the rest of his life behind bars or whether he'll be sentenced to death. On pages 16 and 17, the jury also has to consider what's described as mitigating factors. For example, the jury must consider this statement. Johar Zanayev would not have committed the crimes but for his older brother, Tamerlan. Then jurors must answer whether they agree or disagree with this statement. The panel began deliberations Wednesday afternoon, shortly after closing arguments from federal prosecutors and defense attorneys. The same jury previously convicted Zanayev on all 30 counts against him in connection to the April 2013 bombing, which of course killed three people and injured 260 others. I don't think they'll rush at all, but I, I also think that they've they've seen it all, and it's time to time to close the chapter, Let's close this horrific chapter. I think they got to work through each count, and and then the question will be uh, whether the penalty should be death or life in prison. Seventeen of the thirty charges could carry the possibility of the death penalty, but the jury must reach a unanimous decision before that punishment is actually imposed. Some legal experts actually expect this jury deliberation to take not that long, and in fact, they say they could render a decision as early as today. Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News. I mean, news will once again be in Boston throughout the day awaiting the jury's decision. You can count on us to bring it to you as soon as it's reached on air and online at WPRI.com.